Hi guys, I just wanted to bring you guys along with me. I'm starting my four day stretch tonight. It is about 4.30, I'm drinking my coffee. Also, I wanted to show you my new mug. Look how cute that is, known for the holidays. So cute. Um, it's the same style as my purple mug that I use all the time, but I think this might be my winter mug. So anyway, I just wanted to bring you guys along with me over the next four days. Um, I'm gonna try to film before and then after my shift. <sighs> yeah, I've never done four nights in a row before, so should be interesting. It was not my choice, but guys, you live and you learn and you survive through it. So here's tonight one. So I just got ready upstairs, got my scrubs on, and I packed my lunch. So off to day one, I need to brush my teeth and then day one is going to begin. So let's do it. Good morning. I just got home from day number one out of four. Um, last night was a good night. I'm tired. When I get home, I always eat breakfast because if I don't, I get up around noon to eat because I'm always hungry. So um, I'm just having some granola and yogurt right now. Really yummy. I'm going to finish eating my yogurt and then I am... I'm gonna brush my teeth, take my makeup off, get in my jammies, and go to sleep. And hopefully sleep until maybe two o'clock consistently, I hope. I usually stay in bed until 4, 4.30. So, end of night one, guys. Hello. It is day two. I am going into my second work shift out of four. Um, I just got ready. I need to pack my lunch. It is six o'clock now. I slept until about four. So, on to day number two. Wish me a good night, guys. Good morning, everyone. I just finished day two of four. You have good days, you have bad days. But you have bad days for the good days. And last night was rough. But it's okay, because I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to sleep. And then I'll be back in the morning. And it's going to be so much better tomorrow, guys. So Or tonight, I guess. So much better. So, this is day two of four. I have two more days left. So, I'm going to go home, eat breakfast, wash my face, brush my teeth, and go to bed. And I'm hoping that I can sleep consistently. For, if I can sleep consistently, consistently for six hours, we're doing good. So, um, today I am so thankful for my coworkers and the people that I work with. Yeah, just the support that they gave me last night was really, really great. And that's really important, especially as a new nurse, to have support from your other nurses, especially if you have a rough night. So, yeah. I will see you tonight for day number three of four. <laughs> I am home. I just ate my breakfast. I'm about to go upstairs. But I wanted to let you guys know. So, I don't bring my money to work because my motto is they pay me. I don't want to pay them. So last night, um, we ordered out, and I ordered out, which I never do. Guys, what I ordered, it's still in the box. I didn't even open it. Didn't even get to eat it. So, there's the ordering out at work. Probably not going to do it again, because I'm nervous now. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep, and I'll see you guys tonight. Hi guys, it's going into day three of four. We can do this, we can do this. I slept really good today, I slept until about uh, three, and then I got up because I slept pretty good. But, um, so the dinner that I bought last night that I didn't get to eat because I was so busy, I ate tonight for dinner, so Cody and I split it, so it was actually really good, but, Three or four, guys. Three or four. We are past the halfway point. We can do this. So, I just started my car. I'm getting ready to go into work. And I think it's, yep, it's six right now. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning and let you know how it went. See you then. Hi, guys. I'm done day three of four. I'm in my car waiting for it to warm up. Um, 
really good night last night. But I went to my bag this morning to put on my mittens. And someone stole my mittens, which makes me really upset because I got them from a craft fair and they were just old fashioned knit mittens that really match my coat. So that makes me really mad because I've worked there for two and a half years or almost three years. I've worked at this hospital for almost three years and someone stole my mittens. Guys, if you want mittens, buy your own mittens. Don't steal someone else's. So needless to say, I usually, oh sorry, I usually leave this L.L. Bean fleece right here that I bought at, or obviously I got an L.L. Bean that I showed you guys a few vlogs ago at work. Nope, not doing that anymore, so now it's in my car. Guys, I just don't understand people and I'm really upset about it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Hopefully they needed mittens more than I did. But now I have to find a new pair of mittens. So. Anyway, just waiting for my car to warm up. Not a very happy camper. I'm hoping maybe tonight when I go into work, someone will say, Oh, these mittens were left on the floor. Are they any ones? And I'm gonna say, yes, they're mine. But I just think someone stole them. They saw something they liked and they took them, which is really annoying because I'm very trusting with my stuff, obviously. But here we are. Also, the reason I don't bring my debit card to work is they were having issues with people stealing it. So, oh, guys, I'm just so mad. I had such a good night last night. And then I walk into my car. It's 34 degrees outside, so it's not super cold, but it's cold enough to wear mittens. Just one of my mittens, had them for a year. I'm really glad I bought them at a craft fair and they weren't made by my grandmother. So, you see someone wearing mittens that are mint, gray, and I think there's white in it too. And it's in this really pretty pattern and they fade in different colors. They're mine if you work at the hospital that I work at. So anyway, I'm gonna go home. My car's almost warmed up. Calm down a little bit, because I'm, I really am so mad though. Anyway, go home, eat breakfast. Hopefully I have another pair of mittens, but I don't wanna wear them to work. What if someone steals them again? So apparently I'm gonna have cold hands all winter or just wear a pair of mittens that I don't like because someone's probably gonna steal those too. Anyway, day three or four is done. I will see you guys this evening for day four or four. Praise the Lord. He is good and I hope I get really good sleep today. So have a good day guys. I'll see you tonight. Just wanted to give everyone an update on the mitten situation. So I was talking to my mom. Oh look, there I am. Talking to my mom. We have this cute little key box that we actually use for our cards at our wedding. Look. Look what I found. I found my mittens. This is why you don't schedule people for four days in a row because they start losing their mind. Even though last day was day three. So anyway, I found my mittens. No one stole them. I'm going to bring my fleece back to work. Everything is good in the world. Praise Jesus. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys tonight. Good night. Good evening. I forgot to record when I was home. So, um, today is day 4 of 4. I'm going to work. Um, I don't have long to talk because I need to clock in in about 9 minutes. But, yeah. So let's do 404. I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. We made it, guys. Nala is just loving me this morning. I think she missed me a little bit. So we made it. 404. Four of four is done. Woo! Right, Nala? She just wants to be a pet. So I, we need some waffles. They're going to the toaster right behind me right now. Wow, she really just wants some love. So, anyway, I need to stop saying anyway because I watch stuff back and it's super annoying. Hi, Nala. Nala loves me. Sometimes she bites me, which she might do in two seconds. But 
Hi, baby. She loves me. So, I did it. Did it. Did it. Last night was rough. I actually drank coffee without flavored creamer, which I don't do. I was that desperate, that tired. Thank you for watching my vlog. If you made it this far, day four, really appreciate it. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now today, I am going to go to bed for four hours and pick my sister up. I don't know what Nala's doing. She's <laughs> smelling my hand. <laughs> it's okay, Nala. Toaster went off and scared her. But I'm going to go pick my sister-in-law from the airport for Thanksgiving. And then I'm going to go get a tattoo. So if you made it to the end of this vlog, watch the story. Or watch my next one because the next one will be about a tattoo. So thank you guys. I love you. Thank you for your love and support. Have a lovely day. Bye, guys.